Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here like always. Thank you so much to all of you who are watching, liking, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for your support. In today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the outdoor aviary. Now for a while now in this channel, I've been doing a lot of videos as far as aviaries around the world. And we've been traveling to a variety of different locations, looking at different aviaries. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, well, what about your aviary? How come you haven't shown your aviary in a while? And the main reason why I haven't been showing the outdoor aviary is because during this time, it was pretty much covered up because of the winter time. Um, even though I'm here in Florida and it doesn't get too cold, I still like to cover the aviary from early December all the way up to about the end of February. And now the aviary is completely uncovered. It's ready to go, but it needs a little bit of TLC. That aviary spent all winter covered up. A lot of the plants in there have pretty much died, whether it's because of the cold or whether it was because of the birds kind of pecking at them. And you know how birds are. Sometimes you have them in there and they're just pecking and eating at everything. And it's hard to keep some plants alive. So what we're going to be doing today is pretty much giving the outdoor aviary a little bit of TLC, cleaning it up, making it look nice again for the spring. After all, the flowers are blooming, it's the weather's just perfect outside, and the birds are ready to breed. So let's make their enclosure look a little bit better. But before we get started with today's video, I want to share with you guys a couple of the birds that I have available for sale. If you're interested in any of these birds, go to the description box of this video. And there you're going to find the links to my Facebook page and my Instagram page. Those are going to be the two best methods of getting in contact with me to order some of these birds right now. I don't have too many birds available, but I do have some strawberry finches, which have been a species that have been very difficult to find lately. So if you're interested in working with those, let me know. I also have some blue faced parrot finches, some mass grass finches, and maybe a couple others. The videos will be up here so you can see some of those birds that are available. But now let's get started with our main video. As you guys can see, this outdoor aviary is in desperate need of some TLC. Like I said before, it's spent pretty much all winter covered up. You can see that it's just sad and gloomy to be honest with you so let's spruce this thing up let's clean it up a bit one of the main things that i like to do is i like to rake the bottom soil of the aviary i've done a video of this in the past showing you guys the importance of raking that bottom soil and tossing it and turning it so that the birds can get to the insects that are underneath of this soil some of these birds they rely heavily on the bugs that are in the soil to feed their young chicks so this is a very good stimulant for them in order to get them into breeding condition and get them to build their own nest, get them to successfully hatch their own chicks and wean those chicks. After all, that's the most important thing. There's a lot of species that they will build a nest, they will sit and incubate the eggs, but once you get those chicks and they hatch, they toss them because the males want to start the process all over again or because they don't have enough insects to feed the, the chicks. And this is a big problem with species like, for example, the strawberries, some of the African waxbills like the red-billed fire finches, the red cheek cordon blues, the orange-breasted waxbills, the lavenders. These are all birds that rely heavily on live food or alternate sources of live food like freeze-dried insects or egg food and stuff like that so if we can offer these things to them if you have an outdoor aviary and you have some soil toss and turn that soil scrape it and all these little bugs trust me they're in there they'll pop up and the birds will go crazy as you guys can see here from this footage now that we got this soil tossed and turned, I want to add a little bit more greenery into this aviary. And one of the plants that I'm gonna be planting in here are these tall grasses that you see in this section. Now, I don't know the name specifically. I can't remember it off the top of my head now, but it will be right here. This is the name of that plant. I'm gonna plant three of them just for cover. Now, this plant is very versatile because as these long leaves, as they die out, they become perfect nesting materials for the birds. They love them. They use them in all the nests. And it is a great plant to put in your aviary in order to keep the birds well hidden. As you guys know, most of these birds, they like to hide. They don't like to be exposed. So any type of shrubs that you can add here and there to give them a little bit more cover and feel more safe and give them that environment where they feel safe enough to nest in is a plus in my book. So make sure to add plants like this that give them that cover so they feel protected. And in return, you're gonna notice that your birds are gonna nest easier 
and be a little bit happier. Now, once we got these planted in, I also wanna add a little bit of color inside of the aviary. So I did choose a couple of different flowering plants to add here and there just to give the aviary a touch of color. Now, there are so many plants to choose from, guys. There are endless plants that are beautiful to add some color to your aviary. It's just hard to pick them. You have to know which ones you can pick. The easiest method, although I do have a video showing you guys some of the safer plants for these birds, the easiest method is to go into Google, type the name of the plant, and just ask, is it bird safe or is it toxic to birds? And right away, you'll find out. But I went with some simple ones, some simple plants that have some pretty colors just to give the aviator a little bit of pop here and there. And as you can see, they look amazing. Now that we got that covered and we got that section of the aviary cleaned up, we're gonna focus on the other part of the aviary, which is the mulch section. And for mulch, what I like to put in my aviary is just natural pine bark. This is a section here, as you can see, I've always had this. I just think it's more natural. The birds enjoy it to have different sections. I used to have grass before too. So I used to have the, um, the mulch, the pine bark, the uh, soil, and I used to have a section with grass, but it was just too difficult to keep the grass um, because it would end up dying during the winter months and I would have to replace it. So I just decided to stick with two different types of environments, the mulch and then the soil. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it. The aviary is completely clean. The birds are gonna be excited to have their new enclosure with a little bit of added TLC to it. And hopefully it's a successful breeding season for them. It's the beginning of the spring here. And I'm hoping that these birds get to nesting soon. The majority of the birds that I keep out here are the African waxbills. As you guys can see, they're loving the tossed soil. They're in there just going to town on some of the bugs that are exposed after I rake that soil up. So let's feed them a little bit of fruits. Let's give them a little bit of egg food and some seeds. And I hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll see each other in the next one.